it reminded me a lot of the kind of movies that my mother used to be a part of like a khatta meetha and golmal so it was post paltan that uh, general rawat had actually met with dad and me and given us a few stories that he wanted us to make but of different battles this time we have sandesh aate hain border to the film of course starred ashwarya rai and abhishek yes. bachchan yes they were they were seeing each other that time they started seeing each other that time on Thank that you. film nidhi datta welcome to cnn news 18 Thank you so much. This is your latest film, Ghurchadi, uh, will be premiering on Jio Cinema on August nine. Yeah. It stars Kushali Kumar, Par Samthan, Sanjay Dutt, and Ravina Dandan, and yes. it's directed by uh, your husband, Binoy. Binoy, yes. Uh, it's his debut film, so congratulations. Thank uh, you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, but you actually have produced Paritan in the past. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's actually you are the one of the co-writers on Border Two. Uh, yes so the then, writer of border do right now yes yeah so then how it all started how you made this project possible so you know I, i'll give you a little bit of a background now that you've mentioned paltan um so paltan was my first film as a producer uh, in dad's company which is jp films which is our company and that was primarily because you know by the time paltan came about there was a certain change that had taken place in the industry uh, since umrao jaan had happened which was a while ago yeah. and the whole studio system had come into place so hota kya hai ke ek there was a certain uh, uh, you know there's the, the working of the studio system is so different from the way dad had made movies before which was you know mainly a uh, uh, distributor based and you know exhibitor based and works that today are still not completely in a producer's everyday uh, working space which it used to be you know so uh, when that happened and dad was very very keen on making paltan at that time i remember and i had a i, I remember there was one meeting with a particular studio which he had had a conversation with and he had kind of set it up and that meeting didn't go the way i would have as a daughter maybe wanted it to go and i realized that there was a certain stature and a certain um uh, experience and a certain place he had reached in his career as a filmmaker where he needed somebody to take care of certain things and the business aspect so that he can then concentrate on his creativity and uh, you know when i was a little child it's very funny story but you know bachpan mein everybody asks you aap bade ho ke kya banoge and my answer used to perpetually be main bade ho ke papa ko help karungi that was my answer there was no goal of a certain uh, actress producer director it was always papa ko help karungi so that paltan gave me that opportunity to come on board into the company and take care of the business aspect um for him and uh, it was pretty i think it's pretty the best decision i think we could have taken for the company because it became seamless and it became great for him to be able to you know concentrate on the film uh, creatively and um, of course after paltan then we went you know we were trying to then covid happened and a lot of things have happened since um and i think it was just after or during covid actually that uh, binoy had written this uh, script uh, called kurchadi and um, when i heard the narration binoy was actually already pitching it to other producers so i was not his first option i just want to note this and i will remember this ke wo pehle he did not bring the film to me but uh, when i heard the narration it reminded me a lot of the kind of movies that my mother used to be a part of which was golmal and khatta meetha and you know that that older love story and the kind of feeling that that brought about and each character in the family had its own uh, you know track that was going on it was so beautiful and it made me and of course today we live in a world where all kinds of movies and all kind of content is welcome because there's a consumer base that wants that much content but saying that uh, it was a film that made me feel like like a khatta meetha and golmal ek dadi aur ek pota saath mein baith ke ek film dekh sakte hain and this is that film uh, you know and i just felt that it was a movie that made me feel like not only my father but maybe even my mother's legacy is my responsibility and i should take it forward in some way so i hope she's proud of me for this one and then i'll go back to making my father proud in border so then then talking about border uh, you are of course one of the co writers and producers on border 2 yeah what can we expect from the film and which indian border you'll be visiting this time 
so uh, so i'll tell you a little bit about how it happened so basically border uh, so uh, of course you i'm, I'm sure you know uh, late uh, general bipin rawat who left us a couple of years ago so um, but i still look up to him and i think of him all the time because i got to the honor of being able to you know speak to him and spend some time with him during paltan so it was post paltan that uh, general rawat had actually met with dad and me and given us a few stories that he wanted us to make into movies and uh, and there are many stories like that uh, because you know there are so many brave soldiers that we have um i think um what happened is once gurchadi got over the shoot and the primary uh, you know post production of the film last year i had the opportunity to revisit uh, what next for jp films and when that question arose of course my mind went to general rawat and the stories he had given us so when i went through the stories i came across a few of them which just organically uh, were from the 71 war itself which border the first border was from too so it just made sense to uh, you know tell the story of the same war but of different battles this time so i as you know i have never written anything before i didn't know i could write firstly i have no idea i've surprised myself as much as i've surprised everyone else i always thought i was the business angle of the family not the creative side i used to tell my father that what happened why did you uh, you know skip a generation matlab mere ko kyun nahi diya aapne ye blessing but uh, i guess there i durust hai hopefully so um, it came and uh, i just sat down one day and uh, i don't know why but i just uh, i remember binoy ke office mein there was a uh, this uh, one uh, assistant that was working there and i and i said is she is she free and they said ha ha she's free i said zara usko uska her name is manisha so i said manisha ko zara bhej dijiye ghar pe so i sat down and i said manisha can you do me a favor can you type fast and she said yes ma'am i can i said okay just type because my thoughts are running i'll just keep talking and we'll voice record this and will you believe me i sat in the morning around 10:30 and i got up from my chair at about 8:15 in the evening and i had the first to last um scene of border 2 wow. so but I, i i don't take any credit for it and i won't let my father also take credit for it because i know this one this one is a blessing from my grandfather sitting on top there but uh, then will we get to hear music matching the magic of sandeep se aate hain border 2 we have sandeep se aate hain border 2 so we have of course an adaptation of it which will uh, uh, you know be touching the new um, family relationships that we have in this film but yes we will have sandeep se in border too then what are your memories of border you must be very young i was 7 yes i was 7 or 8 years old and um, i was um, i had i had two of my birthdays at the sets of border <laughs> because we mom always made sure that i must say that you know there's so many industry children i must say this lot of people friends and family that i know and wo hamesha bolte you know humko to film se bahut dur rakha gaya hame to our parents did not let us you know know that up that my father is an actor or my or my father is a filmmaker and we were kept away and all of that my mother did not do any such thing i have lived grown up eaten slept movies from the day i opened my eyes because my grandfather was a dialogue writer he was a yes. director dialogue writer my mother was an actress my father is a filmmaker hamare dining table conversation films pe hi thi aur kuch tha hi nahi so um, for for me i think it was everything was so the minute we would get thodi si chutti from school mama would say okay okay come let's go meet papa so i've gone to bikaner i have gone to the sets of border and so many memories from it i remember sandeep's shoot of course i have very few memories i don't remember completely but yeah i do remember but i think my fondest memory of border if i may share it is the screen awards um it was the first award of the year i remember and i was about 9 years old at that time and we were walking in the red carpet into the uh, i think andheri andheri sports complex mein tha and we were walking in and you know there were so many actors walking ahead of us and ek they had put like a kapda bandha hua tha because i think on the kapde ke us taraf there was a lot of uh, crowd but the crowd could see ke kaun chal raha hai you know to go inside and i remember that we had two three actors before us and uh, not from the film but there were two three other actors before us but at that point when we entered i remember the crowd started screaming papa's name and as we started reaching the midpoint of that carpet they started screaming and singing sandeep se aate hain 
and i looked up at my dad in awe oh, okay what have you just gone and done like do you even realize what you have done and i still remember my father who's pretty much never shows any emotion he had tears in his eyes at that point because i think that was even like a like a, i think you know obviously numbers box office so i gaya tha but at that point he realized okay, okay this i think i think this has happened so yeah you also assisted your father jp datta on umrao jahan yes the film of course start ashwarya rai and abhishek yes. bachchan yes they were they were seeing each other that time they started seeing each other that time on did that you, film did you witness their love story absolutely i did and it was beautiful to see, to witness it and it's still beautiful to see the family that they've created and yes of course very fond memories because abhishek is family and uh, for uh, for it to happen on papa's set was 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 really beautiful and uh, yeah it it was nice it's always nice to see a real life love story you know it was beautiful to see them find each other which was great were they in each other i was an, i was a costume assistant being bullied by abhishek so i was I, i was like okay fine this is how you're going to behave with me but were they were they uh, were they uh, how, how do you like to share any anecdote from the from the sets of umrao jahan like what, about ashwar and abhishek Like, oh, please. I just remember all the Christmas parties and Diwali parties we had during the movie, and the amount that um, uh, we've had. It was it was just too much fun. Honestly, there's not one anecdote. The whole film was too much fun with them. In the other film your uh, dad J B Datta made was a film called Gulami. Mm, his first. And I love the song the the Halim Mushkil. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Vishal Mishra recently recreated that song. Yeah. Uh, do you like uh, the recreated version of the song? Uh I think Yeah, I do like it. I do like it. I even like there was a there is a uh, there's one singer called Jalraj if I'm not mistaken. Uh and I see him on Instagram. He opens up and even he's done a very nice rendition of the song. So it's it's nice to see. It's I nice. love that song. I mean, yeah. yeah. It's the original one, not Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, even I love the original little more though. Yes. today a lot of talk has been going on about films going over budget hmm uh, considering the box office return according to you which are the big areas that makes a film costly i keep saying this because this is one of the things that i uh, have been i i i mean this is one of the things i keep reminding myself when i'm at work when i'm sitting on my budgets is that dad always has this saying that uh i have to take a million dollar shot without spending a million dollars on it okay. that's what makes me a successful filmmaker uh as a production house we believe in doing that we will give you the largest canvases whether it was loc whether it was border there was if you hear the budgets of those movies you will be shocked you will be like kya aapne ghar bar nilam karke kiya tha kaise kiya tha because it's it's Hello? shocking even for me it's shocking so i when i sit with dad and i understand of course times are different there's inflation there's a lot happening but i believe that you as a you know of course actors costs are a certain amount everybody is a little is in a little bit of a zone but i just believe that as a team if you work towards it to a certain point you can make movies in a controlled budget where you're not on in a loss making scam from day one otherwise you know it's just a loss it's a loss for the studio it's a loss for your aap itni mehnat karoge and if it's not going to be a success then what's the point you know of course critics and that comes later that cannot be controlled by anybody and what people think of the movie you can only make something that has your conviction but i think as a team if you come together it can be controlled it can definitely be controlled and i also feel one thing it's it's a phase that we're going through um every uh, it's not only the hindi film industry but every industry uh, not not only films but i think every industry goes through certain uh, you know times when they need to recheck themselves and then move forward and if there's any industry who can come together and do anything it's us so then what was the budget of border i think it was 2 crore 30 lakhs that's all yeah good to know and finally you know uh, you of course uh, uh, being the producer also means doing a lot of fire fighting uh, so how do you look only <laughs> only fire fighting <laughs> how do you look back at gutchadi and how much was it a lot of hard work and how much it was fun so you know i feel every film is a journey every film has its own up, ups and downs uh, gutchadi for me was it was it was just beautiful because i got to work 
वर्क नॉट स्पेंड टाइम तो मैं वैसे भी करती हूँ बट गॉट टू वर्क विथ संजू चाचा एंड रवीना I think that's the first thing I would like to talk about because you know recently I shared a photo because it was his birthday day before yesterday, and I shared a photo of Sanju Chacha when he came to visit me the first day that I was brought home from the hospital when I was born. So these are relationships that go way back and have been part of my entire life. So to have them on the film, to have them on the set, and spend that kind of time with them, which is not a personal time, but at the same time we're on set together. I think that was a beautiful, uh, you know, kind of journey and. great memories made uh, khushali and parth of course uh, you know we were all kind of in the same boat because when you're youngsters and you're working together and it was great camaraderie to have them and their energy um, completely honored to have aruna ji with us i think the most amazing actor to work with uh, the most easy going actor to work with is aruna ji and she's a veteran i mean to say the least but she was very gracious and she was amazing uh and um, i i felt like i'm uh, uh, playing ghar ghar ki kahani with my husband because jo ek biwi aur husband ka jo nok jhok hoti hai wo producer director ki bhi wohi nok jhok hoti hai basically so yeah it was it was nice well again again i just want to wish you all the best for thank you very much thank you very much we need all the luck we can get what uh, actually you'll be doing next Thank all you. the best for border 2 thank you so thank much you so much thank you so much thank you